Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills and dense forests, lived a young girl named Amara. From a young age, Amara was known for her unwavering faith in God. She spent her days helping her parents with chores, tending to the animals, and praying fervently. Her faith was her guiding light, and she believed that God had a special plan for her. However, the villagers did not share Amara's devotion. They were a superstitious lot, quick to blame misfortunes on those who were different. Amara's deep faith and her refusal to participate in their pagan rituals made her an outcast. They whispered behind her back, calling her names and accusing her of bringing bad luck to the village. Despite the hostility, Amara remained kind and compassionate. She would often help the elderly with their chores, tend to the sick and share her major food with those in need. Her parents worried for her, but Amara always reassured them, saying, God is with us. He will protect us. One year, a terrible drought struck the village. The crops withered and the rivers dried up. The villagers were desperate and turned to their old ways, performing rituals and sacrifices to appease their gods. When nothing worked, they turned their anger towards Amara, blaming her for the drought. She is the reason for our suffering, they cried. Her prayers to her God have angered our gods. The villagers decided to banish Amara and her family from the village. Heartbroken but unyielding in her faith, Amara left with her parents, praying for God's guidance. They wandered through the forest, surviving on wild food and the little water they could find. One night, as they huddled together under the stars, Amara had a dream. In her dream, an angel appeared and said, Do not be afraid, Amara. God has heard your prayers. Follow the path of the east and you will find, find a place of abundance. The next morning, Amara shared her dream with her parents. Trusting in God's message, they set off towards the east. After days of walking, they stumbled upon a hidden valley, lush and green, with a sparkling river flowing through it. The land was fertile and the trees were heavy with fruit. Amara and her family settled in the valley, planting crops and building a small home. The land yielded bountiful harvest, and they never went hungry again. Word of their prosperity spread, and soon other outcasts and the travelers joined them, forming a new community based on faith, kindness, and mutual respect. Years passed, and the village that had once shunned Amara fell into ruin. The drought persisted, and the villagers, the villagers' ritual failed to bring relief. Desperate, they remembered the girl they had banished and decided to seek out for her. When they arrived at the valley, they were amazed by the sight before them. Amara, now a young woman, welcomed them with open arms. Despite the pain they have caused her, she harbored no ill will. She shared her food and water with them and told them of God's love and mercy. The villagers, humbled and grateful, asked for Amara's forgiveness. She smiled and said, God's love is boundless and his forgiveness is for all who seek it. Let us live together in peace and harmony. From that day on, the valley flourished as a place of faith and unity. 
Amara's unwavering devotion had not only saved her family, but also transformed the heart of those who had once hated her. And so, the girl who was once an outcast became a beacon of hope and a testament of the power of faith and God's favor. I hope you enjoyed this story. Now, let me tell you more about the beautiful valley where Amara and her family found refuge. The valley was a hidden gene nestled between towering mountains and dense forests. It was as if nature had kept it a secret, waiting for the right moment to reveal its splendor. The air was fresh and filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers. Birds of all kinds sang melodious tunes, creating a symphony that echoes through the valley. A crystal clear river flowed through the heart of the valley, its water sparkling under the sun. The river was streaming with fish, providing a plentiful source of food for the habitants along its bank. White flowers of every color, imaginable blooms, painting the landscape with vibrant holes. The soil in the valley was incredible, fertile, perfect for growing varieties of crop. Amara and her family planted everything from grain to vegetables, and their efforts were rewarded with bountiful harvest. Fruit trees, heavy with apples, oranges, and the mangoes dotted the landscape, offering a continuous supply of fresh, juicy fruit. The valley was also home to a diverse array of wildlife. Deer grazed peaceful in the mean dew, while rabbits and the squirrels darted through the underbrush. The presence of these animals added to the valley's charm, creating a harmonious ecosystem where all creatures thrives. As more people joined Amara and her family, they built a close-knit community based on faith, kindness, and mutual respect. They constructed simple outstudy, study home using materials from surrounding forests. The community worked together to cultivate the land, share resources, and support one another. In the center of the valley, they built a small chapel where they gathered to pray and give thanks to God. It became a place of solace and inspiration, reminding everyone of the divine guidance that had led them to this paradise. The valley once a hidden sanctuary became a beacon of hope and a testament to the power of faith and unity. It was a place where love and com compassion flourished and where God's favor was evident in every aspect of life.